Just when we thought the cryptocurrency market was starting to look good and Bitcoin starting to look like a safe haven for assets during the, uh, well, unraveling of the U.S. financial system, the global financial system, the banking system, basically everything that these idiots in office created, unraveling and Bitcoin thriving in price. Well, we've got an economic report from the White House that we need to go over because the headline here, yeah, how do they word it? The president's economic report blasts crypto for ignorance of basic economic principles. <laughs> oh, let's discuss it. If it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. Let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2023 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. Now, look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Weeble. Super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks, and $1 crypto trade is going to get you $5 in free crypto. Now, if you guys want crypto exclusive exchanges where you can buy, sell, trade, short, leverage, all that good stuff, you can Get KuCoin and Binance down there. KuCoin and Binance, they offer rewards for the more active traders. So the more you trade, the more you're going to earn. But please be aware if you're holding on those exchanges, it's going to be considered a loan to those exchanges. If you want to mitigate the risk of holding on a centralized exchange, you need to hold it on a cold storage or DeFi wallet and then it becomes your asset. Now, speaking of your asset, this is exactly what they are going to tell you. You do not own an asset. It's... It's very strange to me that the Ponzi scheme that they've created in the global financial banking system is viewed as safe. Your money's not even actually there, but they want to convince you that that is safe. But blockchain activity that guarantees your transaction is safe in a decentralized world of crypto <laughs> is, is somehow a, well, ignorance of basic economic principles. We got to read through this because the White House is really showing, you know, there's no other way to say it. And I'm, I'm sure I can come up with a more respectful way to say it. But the White House is really showing how dumb they are making statements like this. And, and I know that that lacks respect and, and it probably lacks some flavor. But I mean, that's what it is. The White House today poured cold water on crypto, accentuating the negative aspects of digital assets through a massive 513 page annual report. The first reference to digital assets in the 2023 economic report of the president issued along with a yearly updated uh, or issued along with a yearly updated issued uh, by the Council of Economic Advisors asserts that blockchain technology has fueled the rise of financially innovative digital assets that have proven to be highly volatile and subject to fraud. Now I will admit, you know, they are subject to fraud. Anything that doesn't have financial regulatory clarity that should be coming from the White House or government organization like the SEC is is subject to fraud. But they're not willing to lay out the, the foundations. They're not willing to lay out regulations. They're not willing to guide the industry. They want to shut it down. And they want to shut it down because they know its true potential. Now, that was on page 43. Although advocates often claim that digital assets, particularly crypto assets, are a revolutionary innovation, the design of these assets frequently reflects an ignorance of basic economic principles that have been learned in economics and finance over centuries. The report continues five pages later. This inadequate design is often detrimental to customers and investors. So I guess what we've learned over hundreds of years is if the government, if a central authority can controls the Ponzi or the pyramid or the scheme, then it's good. But if it's distributed to the people, if it's uh, across a decentralized ledger, well, then that is stupid. The overall report, which includes over 100 pages of appendices, covers all aspects of the U.S. economy, including the rise of women in the labor force, climate change, imported goods, foreign investment in education, but several sections address technology and digital markets. Now, Chapter 7 is titled, Competition in the Digital Economy, New Technology, Old Economics. Chapter 8 takes crypto head-on by un under the heading, Digital Assets, Relearning Economic Principles. The conclusion... 
Crypto advocates, you and I, those that believe in cryptocurrency and blockchain technology, well, we need to go back to school as we are apparently relearning lessons from previous financial crisis the hard way. <laughs> oh, God, dude. Oh, man. And here they go on. In addition to the decentralized custody and control of money, it has been argued that cryptocurrency assets may provide other benefits, such as improving payment systems, increasing financial inclusion, and creating a mechanism for distribution of intellectual property and financial values that bypass intermediaries, some of the authors wrote. So far... Crypto assets have brought none of these benefits. Now, look, I'm not going to go through and read the rest of the article because it really does go show. It goes to show you how. Oh man, I don't know if ignorance is the best word. I don't know if naive is the best word. I don't know if uh, manipulative is the correct word. There, I, I can't live in a world where I believe that the, the people that write these articles, the economic advisors to the White House are so stupid. I cannot believe myself to live in that type of a world where they are, are so one-sided. The only thing that I can think that is acceptable in a world that I can live in is that they are trying to push a narrative. They understand what crypto is. They understand blockchain technology. And it, if not... They shouldn't be in charge. You, know, you understand what I'm saying? Like if they truly believe that cryptocurrency is baseless, that cryptocurrency has no value, that blockchain is fake, I, I cannot understand how they wake up in the morning, remember to brush their teeth, eat breakfast, go to work, you drive home. This is the type of guy that I would not like to be driving down the highway next to for fear that he might just decide to crash right into my car. That is how like terrible I think that this viewpoint is on cryptocurrency. I get if you don't understand how a, a blockchain technology or a digital asset can have value living in a digital world. And the best thing that I can do is related to this. Just because you can go to the bank and get a physical paper dollar does not mean that your dollar actually exists. You know, credit cards, good example. Buying things online, good example. We are already living in a digital world, but what it boils down to is you might have that dollar in your pocket today, but there are trillions of dollars or wealth in circulation, and if you add up all of the wealth in the world, quadrillions even. But there are not that many dollars printed. There is not that much M1, M2, M3 money supply in existence. What it boils down to is yes, even the fiat system is fake money. And they try to hide this, they try to pursue different, I guess, narratives and objectives, and, and that's the only world that I can live in is knowing that they understand that, but they have to push their side of the story in order to maintain control. Guys, the White House is offering hit piece after hit piece on crypto. The SEC is trying to tackle crypto in a major way. Things will get dangerous. Things will get bad for the cryptocurrency community, and I think that this is just the start. 2023 is going to be a very rough year, so I want to know what you guys think. Down in the comments below, do you honestly think that the White House advisors do not understand? Or do you think that they're trying to push their own narrative and drive everybody back to their government-controlled fiat? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And of course, if that button right there is still red, make sure to click it. Subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day. and We are growing our portfolios together. You guys got Claybro 883 everywhere. 6 to 12 free stocks on Weeble, KuCoin, and Binance, free Discord. And until the next time, hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day.